We now move on to percussion. The purpose of abdominal percussion is to assess whether the abdominal contents are solid, hollow, air or fluid filled. With percussion you can also delineate the size of individual organs. To achieve good percussion sounds, place your middle finger firmly flat against the abdomen and strike it with a hammer-like motion with the index or middle finger of the other hand. When percussing for ascites, the presence of intraperitoneal fluid, you need to compare the sounds over the different regions of the abdominal cavity. The principle is that fluid will sink with gravity and gas will rise to the surface. If ascites is present and the patient has been lying supine, then there will be resonant sounds from the top of the abdomen on the recumbent patient and dullness around the flanks. Confirm this by asking the patient to lie on their side and after a few moments, percuss again. The fluid would have shifted to the side they are lying on and air traveled to the top side. The fluid filled area will produce dull sounds and where there is air, it will be resonant. This is called shifting dullness and you must test for this, especially if the patient presents with abdominal swelling. Another method for assessing for the presence of intraperitoneal fluid is to test for fluid wave or fluid thrill. The patient or an assistant will need to help you with this. Ask them to press firmly with the edges of both hands down the midline of the abdomen. You then tap one flank sharply with your fingers. The palm of your other hand is placed flat on the opposite flank. If fluid is present when you percuss on one side, the wave is transmitted to the other hand. In a normal person, to prevent the transmission through the fat tissue, the hands are placed across their abdomen. You should be aware that this test is positive only when there is significant amount of fluid present and you may also get a false positive. If you want to delineate the size and displacement of abdominal organs, you percuss from the outside regions of where the organ should lie and approach it until your sounds change from resonant to dull. For instance, you can map out the size of the liver by percussing from the middle of the right thorax towards the right costal margin until you hear dullness from the underlying mass of the liver. Make a note of this area. You also percuss from down up by starting from the umbilical level until again you reach dullness and you know that area. The spleen is percussed in a similar fashion, remembering that it, when it enlarges, it projects down towards the umbilicus. Percuss at the ninth intercostal space on the right, known as tropes space. This is just in front of the anterior axillary line. It is normally tympanic unless the spleen is enlarged. The bladder is also percussed from top down, starting from above the umbilicus and progress inferiorly towards the pelvic cavity. Remember that if you detect dullness in an area where you would expect the resonance of bowel sounds, you need to investigate the different possibilities of an abdominal mass. If the middle of the abdomen is not resonant, then think of the possibilities of tumors, pregnancies, enlarged bladder, ovarian cysts, or mental secondaries, or a grossly enlarged liver or spleen.